Coach Shiano sat me down in his office and just basically said, oh, we're going to make a switch. Uh, it feels like Mike is going to give us the best chance to, to win right now. Did you experience any emotions of anger or frustration, or why is this happening? Yeah, I mean, for sure. As a quarterback and you're competitive, you just kind of felt the, the emptiness in your stomach. Uh, you got a rush of emotions, um, just thinking about everything going on, and just took a deep breath. And I mean, this is kind of kind of out of my control. You know, I think it came down to uh, production. I know Mike's a guy that, that uh, they drafted fairly high third round, mm -hmm. and um, the kid he's got some skill to him. You know, he's he's a good player, but uh, at the same time, uh, you know, I can't can't pretend to even be inside Coach Shannon's head. So you can cope and be okay with being a backup quarterback at this point? Uh, I don't think I will ever be comfortable in this role, but at the same time, I have to try my best, and I, that's, that's really you know, all I can do. What is the sense that you get from your teammates about how the situation of the benching was handled? The bottom line is people really aren't comfortable with change oftentimes and being with those guys for so long and getting a feel for them as players and there's a lot that goes into it and um, you know you could tell that it made, made some guys uncomfortable. From the start of the season there were signs trouble was brewing in Tampa. Six days before the opening game Josh Freeman missed the annual team photo. Frankly just I think a power outage or just a, one of those off and on breaker reset and my clock was blinking 12, you know, zero, zero. And, uh, you know, it's the worst feeling in the world when you wake up and you can start to see the sun coming up. I felt really bad about it, you know, because bottom line is I'm the quarterback. I'm the uh, leader of the team, the guy that guys are looking up to. And I think I took it a lot harder than everybody else. Then there was also the team vote for captain. And there were some reports that some of your teammates felt that the count of the vote was rigged. How do you feel about that situation? Knowing Coach Shiano, I don't think he would do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, at the same time, um, they voted. And it is what it is. You know, it's, it's not having a patch on your chest. I still felt like my role as a leader on the team was still the same. Even in this situation, with everything that you've gone through, your relationship has been steady and solid with Coach Shiano the whole time? Yeah, and it's, it's his job. I mean, he's put in that position uh, to make the decisions which he feels are best for the team. I mean, I'm frustrated, kind of angry, don't really understand the decision, but I'm not the coach. I don't make personnel moves. Um, I don't make those decisions. It's his job to do. Is it the best thing for you to move on for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, given that the head coach has said that they have moved on from you? Uh, no question. And it's, uh, like I said, it's uncomfortable to say. And it doesn't, uh, you know, might not sit well, it might not feel good. But um, the bottom line, I am me as a player. I can't worry about everyone else. 